C6 Corvette sucks. And today I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of Corvette owners, they don't like to admit it. They like to pretend the C6 is the perfect car. In reality, it has so many flaws. The reason why they're scared to admit it, they don't wanna be made fun of for buying such an expensive car that lacks basic features. Today I'm gonna be exposing everything wrong with the C6 Corvette. Some Corvette owners might argue, well, the C6 Corvette is a sports car. It's not a luxury car. But the Corvettes have always been marketed as a sports car for the high-end class, which means it's a luxury car. They were more focused on performance because they definitely cheaped out on so many essentials. So let's begin with the interior. All right, so now you're sitting in your Corvette. The first thing I wanna point out is the seats. The seats are great. They're really comfortable. Some of the best seats I've ever sat in. But there's one flaw. The seats don't recline back at all. All you get is 90 degrees. After you spend your retirement money buying this car, your wife got divorced. She took away the house. Now you're bankrupt. You have to sleep in your Corvette and that is gonna be a very difficult task because it's gonna be so difficult to get comfortable and try to sleep here at night. It's just not gonna happen. So that's one of the reasons why this car sucks. Next thing I wanna point out is the pedals. There's one flaw when it comes to the pedals. The clutch and the brake, they don't have any rubber padding. On a rainy day like today, if you try to step on this heavy, heavy clutch, your foot's gonna slip and you're gonna pop a kneecap and now you're gonna need knee surgery, especially at your age. And you might be thinking, I'm not gonna have this problem. My new balance shoes are great, but let me tell you, your new balance shoes are not gonna have enough grip for this not to be a problem. It's not gonna be good enough. I don't even wanna talk about the sound system. The sound system is garbage. If you look around, there's no place for a subwoofer, not even in the trunk. You have to get a custom box. It's gonna run you a lot of money and it's gonna get in your way of your golfing clubs. That's definitely gonna be a disadvantage. Let's say you don't need a subwoofer. Well, you're a Corvette owner, so you're gonna need to buy a lot of New Balance shoes. There's not a lot of room for those over here. You can only fit like one or two New Balance shoes. This space is so small, especially when you have the target top back here. When your wife decides to divorce you because you spend so much time with this car and gets jealous, you gotta need to keep your stuff somewhere. And the extra room will definitely be helpful, but you don't have that. Let's talk about another major inconvenience, and that's gonna be buying tires for this car. So if you're thinking of doing any performance in spirited driving, you better be rich, because these tires are so expensive. It's gonna be almost $1,000 for the set of the rear, not including installing them. This car has some thick old tires, thick tires. Even though that sounds pretty good on paper, it doesn't sound too good for your paper in your wallet. So with the stage two cam that I have on this car, it gets horrible MPGs. It gets around nine to 11 MPGs. I waste the whole line of gas just by letting the car warm up. And what's even worse is that I have to spend so much time at the gas station. Let me tell you something. You see this right here? Trying to fill up the car is gonna be harder than trying to pee at night when you're drunk and you forgot to turn on the lights. It's just gonna be a mess. It's so difficult to get the nozzle to constantly pump in your car. The cup holder position in this car is not ideal. It gets in the way of your shifting, especially when you're going to fifth. You're gonna be punching a hole through the cup of coffee that you bought from that tasteless donut shop in the corner. Another major flaw is that this car doesn't have anywhere to put your shades. So let's pretend these are some Oakley shades like the ones you wear. I'm driving, I take them off. There's not a single compartment to put my Oakley shades other than the center console. They're gonna be sliding around. It's gonna be making all kinds of weird rattles more than the ones you already have in the car. They're probably gonna melt from the heat of the trans tunnel. Sitting inside of this car, it's like sitting inside of the crematory after 30 minutes of driving. I was bamboozled. I used to think that every single Corvette came with the heads-up display. That was all a myth. Only the 3OT package comes with the heads-up display and from what I heard, it also sucks. I don't have it, which sucks even more. And also her complaints about the infotainment screen. They say it sucks. Do you think this is any better? Of course not. Let me also mention that you don't have a backup camera. So you're definitely gonna script your tips or your diffuser. And I'm talking about the exhaust tips. I don't even wanna talk about the one through four shift. We all know about that and it's pretty stupid. That's why they got rid of it in the C7. Another major engineering flaw with this car is that when you wash the car or when it rains, water gets accumulated in this canal right here. It almost gets flooded. It's almost like the Mississippi River right here. So you have to constantly keep towels in the back to be able to dry every single water spot that gets left behind. One of the reasons why I wanted to buy a Corvette was for the target top. I come to find out that the CO6 model and the CR1 model don't have target tops. And that's the reason why I didn't buy those. So if you want to remove the target top, it's not as easy as it sounds. Especially at your age, you're gonna mess up your back. Margaret is gonna break her hip trying to take off the target top. 
doing any kind of labor in this car really sucks. I would much rather spend 24 hours at the DMV, get out, go to jury duty for 48 hours, spend six hours in traffic listening to the pop radio, than having to rebuild this engine again. Doing any sort of work over here, you're not gonna have a good time. The headlights on a C6 Corvette have a major design flaw. Let's say you park your car in the sun for 10 minutes, you look away, then once you turn back to look at the headlights, they're gonna be yellow and you're gonna have to spend a lot of money repairing them. One last thing I wanna tell you guys, when you have a car like this, everybody assumes you're rich or you have daddy's money. When you pull up to a restaurant, they're gonna treat you like shit. They're gonna have their defenses up and they're gonna think you're some snobby, rich asshole that's gonna talk to them like shit. And it's not really an expensive car to somebody that's a passing that's not really a car person. It looks to them a lot newer than it actually is. They don't know that it's a 2010, to them, it feels like it's a 2018. So that's one of the drawbacks of driving a Corvette. Also, you can't take a girl you just met on a first date with your Corvette because you won't know if she's a gold digger or not. So take the Camry. So there it is. I just told you all the reasons why the C6 Corvette sucks. These were all the negatives of the car. If you want to see some positives, go and check out all the other videos in the channel. And you can check out the vet story, which is an amazing series of when I bought the car to how it is right now. Think twice before spending your retirement money on a Corvette, boomer.